mailbag again and that's the package that was missing from the last mailbag uh yeah card link in which i didn't show the listings uh yeah totally forgot about that sorry uh, anyway, I will show the listings uh, of the content of that bag this time. And it shall be more interesting. Okay. I'm not in yet. I have no idea why. Good packaging though. Nothing in here. And we have ah, ha, 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 ha. fun, fun, fun. Um, oh, single bags. Interesting. Okay, let's start with these thingies here. And they are, of course, made in China. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, no rip open this time. Come on. <sighs> Ooh. Tiny and, yeah. <sighs> Do it yourself. Um, yeah, I'll try to zoom down further. And these are hopefully uh, ADS1115 analog to digital converters. And yeah, they are obviously for the I squared C bus and they have uh, multiplexed for inputs, they are 16 bits. They have a selectable address bit. If you have, yeah, yeah, want to put two on your I squared C bus, and they have an alert pin output, which you can, yeah, connect to your controller too. And I liked this form factor. Yeah, there are other bots out there, but they are three times the size. This is really tiny. It's nice. Let's have a look at the listing and talk about the ADS1115. These were from Banggood and there were yeah three pieces I squared C ADS1115 16 bit ADCs four channel module with programmable programmable gain amplifier Greek heat for Arduino blah 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 mm, yeah and so on. Uh, 746 and uh, when I ordered them about four weeks ago I was able to get free shipping. Free shipping is no longer an option. That might be because of the corona thing. Uh, I don't really know. Anyway that's the chip and it's a Texas Instruments and yeah at least the stamp I looked at it uh, it is a Texas Instruments stamp. It looks original. Anyway, uh, 8 to 860 samples per second. Uh, yeah, not all four inputs at one. This is for one input, okay? I squared C interface, we saw that. <laughs> four pin selectable addresses. I come back to that later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, either uh, for single-ended or two differential inputs. Yeah, you remember we had four inputs. You can pair two of them together to form differential inputs. Uh, it also has a programmable comparator. Uh, yeah, you remember that alert pin. Yeah, when you exceed a value, I guess, or something. Otherwise, that alert pin will alert your microcontroller if the conversion is finished. Other things, ah, yeah, uh, here um, it has a programmable, again, programmable gain amplifier. So your input ranges are from plus minus 265 millivolts to plus minus 6.144 volts. So this thing is really, really flexible, but. Um, yeah, it's not one of the most expensive 
ADCs, okay? If you buy them by the thousands, they come to, yeah, 250 a piece. And that means on, if you got a good one, you got a base error of plus minus two significant bits. If you got a bad one, you may have a base error of four least significant bits. And uh, yeah, if you really push it to its limit with 860 samples per second, things will get noisy and you will end up with an ADC uh, having yeah, worth um, between 13 and 14 bits. So no longer 16 bit. Yeah. And that's the glorious inside of our model 1115. Yeah, the trick with the address pin is uh, <laughs> you create four addresses by either pulling the pin low, pulling the pin high, and now comes the Texas Instrument trick, connecting the pin to the SCL line or connecting the pin to the SDA line. Yeah, so if... <laughs> If address is in sync with SDL, it will react to another address than when address is in sync with SDA or if it's continuously up or continuously low. Ah, these people are creative at Texas Instruments, aren't they? Uh, anyway, um, yeah, you have here your comparator and alert output. You have your differential input 16-bit Sigma Delta analog digital converter, you have your programmable gain amplifier and you have your input multiplexer. And what's not shown here, uh, you can the uh, yeah, negative input of the differential PGA through the MUX can also be connected to ground. So you get one, two, three, four single ended inputs. Otherwise you can yeah, pair up two inputs each. Yeah, go through the max differential, differential, and you got two differential inputs. So yeah, quite flexible, nice, jobby. And the reason I got them, and this is a big exception because uh, yeah, this uh, I'm talking about a, a, a very active subscriber here. Uh, basically one describer asked in the comments if I could make a tutorial about those and Arduino. And as you know me, I will not spare with the details and go in deep, but that's for another video. Next. And next is that big bag with a lot of stuff inside. Let's have a closer look. And these are little kits. Yeah, they are not finished. They are little kits with all the parts included, hopefully. Um, yeah. Uh, why make the effort and solder the stuff yourself? In, uh, somewhere in a factory when you can get the stupid westerners to do it huh <laughs> uh, anyway uh where is it there uh, is our driver chip i won't zoom down here but it's uh a tm6050 or it's supposed to be at least a tm6050 so a small smd jobby so yeah, you need to do some SMD soldering here. And then you have a very nice, hopefully, four digit seven segment and not the cheap clock type, but really with decimal points, very important. Uh, LED display. And what I liked about, uh, especially, that was the reason I bought them as kit, uh, what I liked about these ones is that there is only very few board standing over here yeah, from your LEDs. That makes, yeah, stacking them up in a case yeah, for, for example, four, 
uh, very easy. You can uh, pack them very, very tight, while uh, other, other boards have, uh, I don't know why, but uh, they have at least five millimeters on the top and the bottom, and then uh, your displays are uh, funnily spaced. Uh, doesn't look good. So I like these because, yeah, it's probably fun to solder these, uh, the SMD stuff. I will make a video about it. And you can really pack them tightly together. And uh, yeah, maybe I even try to route a little bit off that PCB. Should be possible. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a look at the listing. Uh, I just noticed you don't. Uh, you only need a four-pin pin header for these things, and. <laughs> They came with these, what it is, uh, four pins, nine pin headers. Uh, yeah, but it's too late. I, I needed these 90 degrees pin headers uh, a while ago in another project and I hadn't won. Uh, I was out of them completely, uh, so I had to bend normal headers and it was a mess, but uh, yeah card link. Anyway, now I have uh, lots and lots of them again because I think I will use straight headers here and put them yeah, into some drawer. Anyway, these were the nice large 0.56 inch digital tube. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, yeah, four digit seven segment LEDs with decimal points, not the clock type, and a TM6050 driver ship. Yeah, Arduino libraries are available. And there were 173 a piece, and uh, I got them for free shipping, no longer available. Oh, well, currently not available. Yeah, what a mess. Anyway. Anyway, that was a mailbag with all the stuff that came too late for the last mailbag. Till next time, bye.